In this video, we'll be looking at the question flipper found in the tools of the Lesson Activity Toolkit. How does the question flipper work? There's a simple question put down, you click on it, and it flips over and reveals the answer. Let's have a look at the examples of the two different types of question flippers. The first one is a square or shape. Find the pairs, you click on it, and then you click and it turns back doesn't automatically turn and it doesn't automatically stay. This is not a pairs activity found in the activities but rather just a question flipper so it's been created like a pairs activity. The second one is more complex. Have a look there and then it asks you how many neutrons does sodium have. Click over and it reveals 12. How many protons does sodium have? Click over and it reveals 11 and you can click it back so it's a flipper it literally flips over where do we find the question flipper if I click on the gallery tab go to lesson activity toolkit click on tools and then scroll down you'll see I have question flipper 1 which is the square one and then I have question flipper 2 which is the long elongated one I simply drag them in or double click let's have a look at how these work both of them have the two handles that I can use, the resize handle on each one and the double arrows which allows me to edit the information. Because there's two sides to the flipper you'll see there's front and back. So it allows you to manipulate both of them. Front, double click and highlight generally the question size I can change the font, I can change the size, I can change what color the font is in and what color the background is in. So we can see how it will work. You repeat this for the back, double click or drag and highlight all of it. Again I can change the font, the size, the colors if I want behind there. Make it a bit of a different color and click OK. And then this is the question and this is the answer. And you do exactly the same with the long elongated question flipper or question flipper 2 as they call it. Double click, you have the front and the back. I can change the font, the font color and the background color and I double click and drag to type. Great little interactive tool to support for differentiated work. If they need the answers to be there, we can click on it. Not only can this be a question, but it can also be for hints. So I could write, click here to find a hint, and then on the back would be a hint. And we can also use it to support the lesson we're teaching. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by the Technology Training Academy.